Hi, I'm Stefan Thum, composer of Stockholm Bloodbath, and this is a closer look behind the score. First and foremost, the film is an epic revenge story, set in the year 1520. On the one hand, we have Anne and Freya, two young Swedish women who seek revenge on the men who murdered their family. On the other hand, we have the Danish king, King Christian, who aims to reclaim the Swedish throne and does so by force. His invasion culminates in the public execution of around 100 people, which became known as the Stockholm Bloodbath, a major event in the actual history of Sweden. So it's a medieval period piece, but the tone of it is very modern, and that is how we approach the music as well. Something that we talked about very early on was the use of several modern rock songs. I think now there might only be one song left in the film, but the idea of that heavily inspired the tone of the entire score. Of course there's the orchestra, but we combine it with drums, guitars and distorted vocals. I wanted it to be an adventure score with the attitude of a rock song. On top of that, I took inspiration from traditional Nordic folk music and ended up recording several solo instruments like nickel harpa and viola da gamba, all of which added incredible life to the score. Anne and Freya, our protagonists, have a predominantly acoustic sound, featuring strings and folk guitars. Anne is getting married, they live a simple life, but that piece is being disturbed by a group of ruthless mercenaries, henchmen of King Christian. These guys are of course our antagonists. They get a darker, grittier, more aggressive sound, featuring distorted guitars and vocals, electronic percussion and synth textures. They get a simple motif, an idea that actually started like this. Now if I take that, run it through guitar amp, double it with synths and low strings from the orchestra, it sounds like this. Power-hungry King Christian gets his own motif as well, played by a bass viola da gamba. It seemed interesting to me to take a bass instrument like that and push it to an extremely high register. Christian is a twisted character. He's imposing and ruthless, but he's also portrayed with an offbeat sense of humor which was a lot of fun to play with. Another important character is Gustav Trolle, the cunning Swedish archbishop loyal to the Danish king. Trolle essentially orchestrates the Stockholm bloodbath as his personal act of revenge, condemning to death all those that wronged him in the past. Tying all of those pieces together is the revenge theme, which is also the main theme of the film. It starts with a simple vocal melody, sung by the great Merete Solvet, and then keeps growing bigger and bigger as Anne and Freya move forward on their path to revenge. 